How's it? How's it, everybody? It's Ulu. How's it? So, yes, I'm getting ready to go to work. It is my Monday. Shit, running out of almond milk. <sighs> Got your almond milk so fat. <sighs> okay. So, you know, I think I went live on TikTok like one time. I'm kind of thinking that I'll be going live every Monday night, probably about 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, um, yeah, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You know, like for an hour. I um I used to do lives a lot on this other app that I was on, but uh, you know, life changes, things happen, and you grow and you elevate from different situations. Right? So yeah, I think I'll I think I'm gonna start going live probably next week Monday. I'll, I'll do a live, and um, yeah, I gotta kind of get the hang of it. You know getting on here and stuff like that so yeah 9 p.m monday nights i cannot commit to going live every night because or every every day or whatever because i be sleeping okay okay i need my shake no you know this morning i had um I had uh, posted something about uh, in Second Peter, and I do believe it was um, talking about hold on, talking about how when you when you come to God, you will never be without blessings, and like you know, I I and I had said that some people they. Um, they are afraid to make changes because they're not willing to give up worldly possessions and worldly habits and, um, you know, doing ungodly things. And um, so they feel like a lot of people, a lot of people, they get very theoretical with God's word. They pick and choose things out of the Bible that fits to their liking, okay, because even though they know that that God has sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, to die for us and to save us from our sins. They feel like, oh yeah, I can sin and it'll be okay because I can always repent. No, that's not the case. And I only say that because I myself have been through that experience, okay? And so it's not like I'm judging anybody or whatever. I am speaking strictly from experience and how I used to think and how I how I've how I've backslid so many times in my life after becoming saved and um, I was looking through the book of Peter and I was just you know kind of skimming through it and I came across um, second Peter and it's chapter 3 verse 9 and it says the Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness but is patient toward you, not wishing that anyone should perish, but that all should reach repentance. I like to go and Google it because I can I can have time understand the King James Version, okay, because they talk in thee, thou, ye, shall, shu, show, all those words that <laughs> I don't understand. So that's why I like to Google it and get the New English Version, right? Okay, but... What does Second Peter chapter 3, verse 9 mean? It means that God is patient and willing to give people more time to repent and that he does not want anyone to perish. God's patience. God keeps his promises at the perfect time and Christi Christians should see the delay in Christ's return as a sign of God's patience. God's love. God wants everyone to be saved, but he will not force them to be saved. God's plan. God's plan is to allow more people to come to repentance and enter into an eternal relationship with him. 
God's sovereignty. God can allow people to choose, to choose things he does not prefer for his own reasons. God's character, God's longing for humanity to turn back to him speaks volumes about his character. And God's grace, the delay of Christ's return is an act of grace. So God is giving us time. God is giving us time to repent from our sins and to turn away from our godly ways. And yes, we all have habits that we still are, are not willing to give up. But if we stay faithful in the Lord's word and know that he is going to bless us and that we will be forever with him in the kingdom of heaven, because that's his promise. If we turn to him and we reclaim Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and we exalt him, we have a place in heaven with him. The earth down here is going to be for the devil. It is for the devil. It is for the enemy. So we must come to the realization that God is grace, God's grace, God's mercy, God's patience, God's sovereignty, God's love, God's character, and God's, did I say patience? It's all in his plan to gather as much of his people to him. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty because this is where I come in. So, I've been going through some transitions. I'm, I'm, when am I not? I'm always going through transitions in my life. It's forever changing. And I realize why I've been going through so many transitions is because God, God's patience for me, he was waiting for me to have my eyes open and see his grace, his mercy, his love, his patience, his 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 promises for me now god is quick in answering prayer okay when we ask god for something he is going to definitely definitely reveal himself to to you and show his almighty power and he will answer your prayer maybe not in the way that you might want him to but he will definitely answer your prayer. It says here, God keeps his promise, his every promise at the perfect time for his glory and for the good of those that he loves. Now, this is kind of like a confession. And I have been praying for a movement to happen because I knew that the things that I was doing was not right for me, was not right for my family, was not right for, for my spirit, was not right for my character, was not right for my growth in God. And the simple fact that I have already had, had proclaimed Jesus as my Lord and Savior when I was four months pregnant really really four months pregnant that was when i was able that is when i received not able that was when i received the gift of speaking in tongues we're going to get into that later okay we're going to get into that later because because that's 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 a whole different conversation a whole different subject but god knew me he knew what kind of he knows me. He knows what kind of person I am. He knows what I want. He knows what I need. God gives people what they need, not what they want, not what they desire. So, I have been praying for a movement to happen and a breakthrough to happen. And guess what? He showed it to me, and this is the God's truth. He showed it to me, and at first, I didn't know what it was, and I didn't know how to look at it. I didn't even recognize it. I saw it as something else because my flesh didn't want to see it as the way God was presenting it to me. But instead, God is going to do what is right for the ones that he loves. And if someone says that he's gonna 
that they're gonna um, serve God, then God is gonna bless them. And that is what I saw happening. Now, I am currently in a battle with my flesh and my emotions and my mind, excuse me. And what my spirit tells me what is just and righteous and the correct thing for me to do. So now I have to give all these emotions and all these thoughts in my mind and all these all these fleshly desires to God at the same time. I prayed for God to move into people's lives and to reveal himself to them because you know what I know the glory of our Lord and 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 you know what interesting conversation again my hula sister because she's saved she reminded me she totally reminded me that there is God is perfect in his time God keeps every promise at the perfect time for his glory and for the good of those he loves. Now, I, she said to me, you know what? You, God used you to show himself to those around you, to the ones that you're praying for, to the ones that you're, you're wanting them to see God and to know God and to build a relationship to God and to turn their lives to God and to be committed to God, okay? And now, and then she said, your season for this time is over. You have to move on to the next thing. He utilized you to show himself. So he used me as a tool because I know God. I know God. <laughs> you know, I, I know God. I know what God wants from me, but my flesh was taking over. And I was trying to make sense of it. And I was trying to be like, oh, yes, it's okay. And this is where people become very theoretical with the Bible. And it's a no-no. It is a no-no. We cannot become theoretical with the Bible. If we're going to read the Bible, we have to take the word for what it says. And we have to listen to it. And you know what? God speaks to us all the time. All the time, all the time, maybe through someone else, maybe through a sign or maybe something that happened or maybe someone says something to you or you see a scripture or you, you hear somebody speaking to you. You know what? That is God. That is God. If you feel a conviction in your, a conviction or, or the worldly or the secular term is guilty, guiltiness guilty conscience but the spiritual term is 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 conviction if you feel conviction that means what you're doing is wrong right and what god is telling you your conscience god god big quotes capital g o d is speaking to you And that is what I'm learning right now. I am learning that 100%. And even though my emotions might be taking over and I might feel some so upset and I might feel confused and I might feel disappointed and I might feel lonely and I might feel all these different emotions, I have to keep my faith and trust in the Lord that what He is doing is perfect in His time. And guess what? My life is not going to be lonely or my life is not going to be confused. My life is not going to be, you know, full of chaos and, 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 and narcissistic traits coming out and, and people trying to play me in whatever way that they're trying to do or use me. or He's going to protect me from that and he's going to guide me into the right path that I need to be on. So, with that said... Go ahead. If you want to hear more of my journey, this is part of my journey. Later on, later on, we're going to talk about tongues. We're going to talk about tongues because, you know, people, people who don't know the word of God or who don't know anything or who don't walk in the spirit or don't know, they're afraid of tongues. They think it's something crazy. There's, they think it's something crazy. And um, 
you know, it was shown to me when my father was passing away. Um, you know, my father was not a believer of God. He wasn't a, a, a believer of God. He was a typical Filipino superstitious man. And, you know, he was very superstitious. But when it was time for him to seek the Lord, let me tell you, God showed himself to him. And I started, you know, my father has had li has he lived a very complicated life because he didn't know better about a lot of things. And um, he just didn't know a lot. He didn't know many things, which if given the chance, if he was if he was given the chance, then maybe, Maybe he would have. I don't know. I really don't know. So when my father was passing away, he was on his deathbed. I didn't know what to pray for my dad because I could feel, I could feel from him that he was, he was scared and he was sorry and he was, he was, he wanted to make sure that he was going to be with Jesus in heaven. And I could feel that from him and I didn't know what what he really wanted to pray about i mean he was calling out to god my father was on his deathbed and he was calling out to god and so i started praying in tongues i started praying in tongues for him i started praying in tongues because i was asking god god you know exactly what it is that my father needs and so because he he doesn't really know he is going to know. He's learning about you right now, Lord. And I stand in the gap for him because my faith and my belief in our Lord covered my father. My prayer covered my father. And do you know that he called out to God? He said, open the door for me. Open the door for me. Of course, the devil going to try and come in and intercept and do stupid stuff, right? So when I was praying in tongues, he said, my father said, it's too late. It's too late. And I got upset because I could feel that that was the devil. And I feel like now, I, but now I understand, I understand and it took my family to make me understand because I was hurt, because I was afraid that my father was rebuking the name of Jesus as I was praying for him. But what he was telling me was that it's too late for, for me to pray for him to be well. But my father didn't know what I was praying for. I only know what I was feeling in my heart that I wanted to be able to see my father when I go to heaven with Jesus when I pass and so that is what I was praying for but it was just a whole the devil he tried for he does he tries everything even when someone is on their deathbed because he knows the angels and the presence of God is there with them always 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 and so what happened was we end up getting into a little argument. <laughs> and my father was always like that. He was very argumentative, argumentative. You know, he was always, he wanted to always argue because he was, a, honestly, my father was a very unhappy man on this earth. He was very unhappy. He was very unhappy. And, and you know, I know he loved us, but honestly he really had a really hard life a very very hard life and then and then he 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 was an alcoholic and then we're going to get into that too because there is a there is a spirit for the word alcohol there is a word for that so we're going to get into that in the next one but I just wanted to come on and, and let you guys know that when you pray for somebody, when you pray for something, for a breakthrough to happen, God wastes no time. His timing is perfect in every way. And you got to be ready for it. You have to be ready for it. And therefore, hmm, unfortunately, I was not ready for what God has happened, what God did, but I feel at peace. And I continue to pray for those that I was praying for, for a breakthrough. I continue to pray for them. 
even though my emotions want to be like mm, 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 and upset whatever but i continue to pray for them no matter what because that is the way god is and i have to be if i if god used me as a tool to bring these people to the lord then i must continue to walk in that path and continue to be that tool for him so he is not slow in keeping his promises. So make sure that you stay faithful in the word. And you stay faithful in, 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 in worshiping him in everything that you do. And praising him and thanking him and, and giving him glory. Because for him, all things are possible. So we thank you, Lord, for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a beautiful night. It's my Monday. Kidding. Aloha. Ahui ho.